Hi, welcome back. Another video from Good Scarlet, our eBay store. This is Becky and John, my Hello. husband. So just to recap, we're eBay sellers part-time. We are in Virginia. This is July 10th, 2020. And we went back to the Goodwill outlet, which is the bins in Virginia. So we bought, we went at about three, no, we got there around four. 4 p.m. Our bins closed at six um, due to the pandemic. And um, so they start taking the bins up at 5.30. So we really only had an hour and a half to shop, but we found a lot of good stuff. We got three full bags of clothing. We spent a total of $84. We pay $1.29 per pound. So um, we haven't counted the individual items, but we're just gonna go through the haul. And again, our store on eBay is called Good Scarlet. It has um, about 2,800 active listings. And we are eBay sellers that sell six figures gross. So we've been doing it for about five years. So anything you want to add? Uh, no, it was, um, it was a fun venture because it seems like when we're under pressure, we go rapid fire and we just whip right through them because they're, I won't say they hover around you, but they are, punctual at sure. pulling up the bins. Yes. They, they, well, you know what, they do kind of, they don't get in your way if you're looking for one. No way to get done, but you don't want to inconvenience them. So it was fun and fast. They want to get out of there at six. Yes. So they, they let you know that they're trying to like get you going. Yeah, in a kind way. Yeah. So you did mention the, um, sorry. And our bins in Virginia are very kind, nice, people, people are respectful, people are not in your face, people are, are generally yeah. um, Cordial, friendly, good nature. Helping, so it's, help each other grab stuff. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a very fun. nice place to go. Mm -hmm. And we do find a lot of good stuff. So we, we um, started to do this business model, what, about a year ago? Where before we would just go to thrift stores primarily, just the regular retail thrift stores. We found all of our items there. And then we started going to the bins every now and then. And then we were like, let's just try just the bins. We reduced our average cost of goods down to about $1.80 per item so that we can maximize our profits. And it has worked very well. So now it's hard to go back to the retail stores and pay full price, right? Yes, it's hard. It's still nice, just like if you happen to be by one, because we are we have tons of retail stores in this region, so we're blessed. So if we're just um, out doing something else and we happen to be near one, we still like to go in them because we'd still find onesie twosies here and there. But we definitely don't spend what we used to spend right. in a thrift store. Yeah. Right. But it's it's nice to go to them for. Um, for hard goods. Yes, because we, we like to sell yeah. hard goods. So we're gonna go through the um, haul quickly so the video will not be an hour like last time. Okay, so this is $84. This is what we got for $84. All right, so John found this one. This is a Royal Robins wrap dress, and it is made of one. It's made of cotton polyester nylon, but it's pretty. It's a wrap dress. It looks like wool, blue, yeah, I and it actually it. has the ties that wrap around the waist. So that's pretty. So this is a size extra small. That looks like it could fit you. Yeah. So is this, this, I don't well, know. Which one you want? Would you wash that? I don't know. I have to okay. Well, it's pretty new. I think I would dry it. And then, 
We had never heard of this brand before, but it's called Indigenous and it's Organic Fair Trade. And it's a, like a cow neck plum sweater. See, the, the lighting isn't good. You can't see the color. Yeah. We're going to try to adjust the lighting a little bit. So this is new with tags. This is an ASOS jumpers, like a skater skirt with a jumper bib top. And it is new with tags and it is a size zero. So it's got the little skater skirt bottom. That's so if you dark. bring that over. Okay. We're having light technical lighting issues. This is Ruby Road. This is one of those slinky travel pants, kind of like Chico's travel pants. This um, Ruby Road new tag size medium, and they kind of look cropped. You want that here? Yeah, I think they're cropped. That's better. This is Daniel Cremier Signature Collection. It's a polo. One of those golf polos, but it looks like new. This is sold at Dillard's and it is crazy expensive, so we buy it. I didn't see that. Yeah, I think I don't we're gonna have to settle. Yeah. Yeah. These are yours. Pair of Gap chinos for you. Mm -hmm. This is Daniel Cremier Classics. It's a nice heavyweight canvas plaid shirt, like new. And it's a size 2XL. That's nice. Sold at Dillard's. Lands in three extra large tall traditional fit. This is a like new flannel shirt. Lands in three extra large tall. That's a good size. Yes. Anything with tall, long does well. Do they charge more in retail wins? Probably on the website. Yes. I don't know. I don't know why they should be able to do that. But. Old Navy regular fit. I think this is a size small, but I don't know if this is men's or women's. I think that button's on the men's side. I don't men's, like that. But isn't that a good pattern? Yes. This is a nice heavyweight flannel shirt for men, size small. It's kind of neat, neat color pattern. This is all like good classic stuff, mm -hmm. you know? American Eagle men's slim fit jeans, 32-34. This is all like back to school stuff. It's still dark. Yeah. And Can we get the last one? Is that night time? Yeah. Um, American Eagle original boot men's jeans. Size 31, 34, basics. These are Lee Riders Comfort No Gap Waistband, new with tag 16 Women, 16W. And these are new with tags. So if we're spending $84 for three bags of clothes, we would probably sell these jeans for about $20. Mm -hmm. So it's, you can't. And the buyer gets them at a good price. We're not gouging anybody. This is a, one of those um, Jimmy Buffett Margaritaville polo shirts. It's orange, it's got the little parrot embroidered. That's a size 2XL. Men's. This is Talbot's newest tags, 
This is the Italian flannel. Retail $139, size eight. This is a long A-line midi skirt. This sells for a lot. Italian flannel, new tags. Let me get the lighting right. There you go. Okay, this is an express Portofino shirt, but it's lace. Never oh, seen lace nice. before. That was um, burnout. No, it's lace. Look at that in metallic. So it's black and silver. These are popular. I don't know how much they sell for now, but we used to sell them a really good a couple years ago. Express the Portofino. It's a size medium, but it's black lace with um, a solid collar. And Ann Taylor Petite, new tag, size four petite. Just a little ponty knit, knee length career skirt. Stretchy. New tags, Ann Taylor. Good find. Oh, you're gonna have to that one. And Gap, real straight fit, ivory, Corduroy jeans, size zero. These look brand new. If they look brand new but don't have tags, we're still gonna buy them. And we'll just list them as pre-owned, excellent condition. We just check them over for stains. If stuff has stains, we don't bother listing it. Mm -hmm. We don't have time to- Unless they're- Unless it's super awesome. Yeah. But we do not have time to mess with stuff. American Eagle men's orange chino shorts. These are just basic stuff. They sell really well. Size, and it's called the Prep Fit. Size 33. Orange. We sell a lot of American Eagle shorts. Mm -hmm. Scarlet. Why don't you let them up there with you? I'll be happy if you do that. This is Zara Trafalic. I don't know how to say that. It's a black. Is it suede or faux suede? I didn't look at the fabric. I think it's right faux suede. I'm sure. Let's see. But I just oh, it's saw. Tore out. But it's a oh, size um, extra small. But it's a um, faux suede. Little sheath dress. It's cute. And another Portofino. Mm -hmm. Brown with a black collar. Basic stuff. Size medium. So maybe we will, I don't know. We could lot them together, but I don't know if the same kind of person would want oh, right. the lace. Right. They both look like some. Career blouses, right? Is that what they normally wear? Well, one's lace. So um, that would be like removed. Okay. So this is Brooks Brothers 346, 100% linen pleated shorts. They look, they're excellent. They just got wrinkled in the bag, but in the bin they were perfect. And Brooks Brothers sells good. As long as it's in good condition. Size 36, 100% linen. I know you're getting bored. No, I'm not. And John found this. This is Lauren, Ralph Lauren. It's a bright orange, very thin cotton ruffle neck, like a wrap blouse. So that's really pretty. And that is an extra large, 100% cotton, and it's semi sheer. It's very lightweight. Very pretty. Mm-hmm. Right, you want to do something?
I'll wait for you and then I'll do a wall and then you can do the last one. Okay. This is um, IZOD. And of course, if it had tags, I would definitely buy it. But it looks like new, and the, the plaid is such a good pattern. So it's IZOD. Men's dress shirt says large. And then a nice, it's like a tartan plaid, but it's a nice pattern. So it's red, blue, black. And then this is J. Jill. It's like a little peasant blouse. It is a popover style with the little grow grain ribbon trim and buttons. It's like a large tunic with long sleeve size extra large petite. It's kind of like a brushed flannel cotton. Cute. Isn't that nice? That's nice. This is vintage too. This is, we, we buy lots of Levi's because they're good um, sellers. So this is uh, uh, Levi's Men's 527 3232. And they're just basic medium wash denim jeans. Everybody buys these. We don't have any problems selling Levi's. Hey, right? Nick in the cuff. But uh, people don't mind damage Levi's. Some of them actually look for them. They do. Uh, some of my best sales were destroyed well, if they're Levi's. Too, if they're too bad, we've cut them into shorts and sold them, right? We did we that with um, not Miss Me. It wasn't Miss Me, those white mm -hmm. shorts. We found a pair of white Miss Me jeans and there was something wrong. Either the inseam was altered or there was some damage to it. So we just cut them off, made them uh, jean short cutoffs, and they sold almost instantly for a good price too. So that's always something to consider. Mm -hmm. This is Banana Republic cute little black and white plaid pleated skater skirt. Cute. It is Banana Republic size zero. That's adorable. Cute. This is brand is SA2. This is like a art to wear little little jack one button jacket embellished like a dressy blouse size small it's got lace it's got a metallic silk and it's got the little beaded clasp button that's pretty and this is new with tags this was sold at steinmart which is a mall store it's that the retail price was 79.99 that's cute mm -hmm. And then uh, Arab Post, all these are men's skinny chinos. And I got them because they're in such good condition. They're size 2830. And these are excellent condition. They're just wrinkled because they've been in the bags. But I mean, they're like near perfect. Okay. And then this I bought for myself. This is St. Tropez West. It's like a linen. Um, knit top. That's for me. And express like a plum metallic wrap dress. It's like a knit. It's got a collar. It's hard to do this without it being on a hanger. It's long sleeves. It's knee length and it has a sash belt that wraps around like a like a regular wrap dress. Classic wrap dress. Mm -hmm. That is size 9, 10, and it's made in Taiwan, so this is probably Vintage. 90s. Yeah. So if anybody's interested in any of these items, they will be listed in the next, who knows, Six months. Month. <laughs> month. We've been doing better. Yeah, we've been pretty good. In the next about. month or so, but you can always let us know, and we will um, list it for you so you can buy it. Um, this is a unbranded vintage blazer jacket. It's
tie-dye and we bought it just because it looks handmade vintage and it's different and weird so it's got these kind of different tight buttons I thought maybe it was a suit but I couldn't find the skirt that went with it but definitely different right yeah. yes okay. because vintage started. items even if they don't have a brand on them there is a big market for it because we've sold a number of vintage items without a name brand. Just put it under vintage clothing, people know what they're looking for. Okay, these two that you so tossed at me. We sold that jacket. Oh great. The leather one? Um I don't think this is vintage. It's made in China, ninety. Oh. It looks like an eighties type blouse, but it's nice. I have to look it up. The brand is 90. It's I thought a it white looked kind of striped blouse. Look. Yeah, secretary look. This one is by Pink Her Vintage Repro. And Becky thinks this is the pinup style. So it's really neat. Um, yeah, because it's called Pink Purr. Retro vintage retro couture, so that might be one of those one of those pinup brands. Yes. Okay. Let me go out on these bags. And we started this eBay venture five years ago. We. Um, heard about eBay reselling. We had no idea what that was. We weren't even really eBay buyers. We had an eBay account since 1999 when we used to have to write checks to people yes. and send it in the mail and then you waited forever to get your item and you didn't know if it was coming. There was no tracking. No. It was very strange. That was in the beginning of, very beginning of Amazon, very beginning of eBay. Mm -hmm. They were kind of competing in the beginning. So. We didn't do eBay for a long time. Never bought anything. We, we would search for antiques and yes. stuff. Yeah, and it was exciting because we used to, the, the, a lot of the platform was auctions. Yes, we used so to look at- So we would bid and get excited yes. about it. Yes, because we're big antique people and yeah. we restore houses and we used to look at lighting fixtures and kind of that kind of niche type stuff. Yeah. But as far as this whole reselling thing, we heard about it, we investigated. I never even went into a thrift store ever in my life. I thought that they were gross and disgusting and stinky and I just, I was just, I didn't understand it. I didn't understand how someone could make a living and you can literally make a living selling on eBay. I didn't understand it. So we went to a thrift store and we were completely blown away by the things that you can find with research you buy undervalued items, and you do this with any reselling, anything, cars, houses, clothing, shoes, video games, whatever your deal is, you buy undervalued items, you do the work, you list it, and you sell it, and you ship it, and you provide good service, you get the good product, and you can make a living being a reseller. Mm -hmm. So we, are, we have paid off a lot of debt, a lot. We still work our normal jobs, but we do this on the side. Our goal is to pay off all of our debt, provide a good life for our daughter, we pay for her tuition, um, and it is a life changer. It has opened up so many possibilities for our future to where we don't have to feel like we're ever someone else is controlling our life. We're in complete control of how our life goes. So it's just empowering. But um, so the eBay, the thrift store thing has, um, we, we were just, we didn't understand it. So if you want more content about how we got started and advice of, of just how to start day one, just let us know. Otherwise, we're going to just do haul videos of what we buy. Every once in a while, videos of what we sell, right? Yeah, but um, 
because we know, well, you know, because you watch a lot of these um, people that have the, the YouTube channels that do exactly what we're doing. So you know that people enjoy watching them because they get a lot of views, the hauls, and yeah. talking about the product. But um, some people focus on the steps involved and how to do it and how to um, set up your store, this and that. We have a lot of good information that we're happy to help somebody along if, if they've got questions or they're apprehensive about, well, what do I do about um, setting up my shipping? Or where do I get my shipping products from? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do I set up a post office account? Mm -hmm. All that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So let us know. We'd be happy to touch on any of that. Yeah. And we were there. We were there. Mm. We were there. <laughs> yes. We did a, made a lot of mistakes in the yes. beginning. We didn't understand how anyone could make any profit because if you make one mistake, and we made and several. you don't learn from that yeah. as your business starts snowballing, because that's what happens if you continually reinvest your profits and build your business, you have to get it right mm -hmm. so that you can maximize your profits because it is time consuming. It is a daily seven day a week business, right? right. It is daily and you do, you have to, you have to really look at every aspect of your business, everything, the mm -hmm. buying of it, the selling of it, the shipping cost, how long is it going to take you to list it? How long is it going to take you to prep the item, to ship it, how much shipping supplies, a lot of factors and over time that's that's where experience which we have can help right. so and it sounds like it might be overwhelming but it's not because it's at your leisure mm -hmm. and it's however much effort you're willing to put into it is what you are going to get back from it because there's a buyer for almost everything so don't feel intimidated by oh if I screw up I'm doomed because at least in the um, in the clothing market there's a low risk of loss so if you buy something our average like we said is about 180 it used to be about three or four dollars going straight to the thrift stores if you buy something and you realize it's damaged when you got home or you ship it to somebody and they get a damaged product or they're not happy with it don't lose your mind on it you just take that little loss refund them you learn your lesson and you move on so it's a great way to yes. grow a business at low risk yes it's a it's low, low risk low buy-in right anyone can go at 20 bucks go to the thrift store buy five items list them that night and then you just wait mm -hmm. You just wait, and the next time you get paid, take your $20 and go buy more, list them and wait. And over time, as things sell or not sell, you still keep it going, yes. and you just keep building and building, and as things sell, you don't spend your money on yourself, you buy more, mm -hmm. and it's important to buy well, so that um, it's you're going to profit so that you can reinvest and it grows fast yes really it's amazing so it's a good opportunity it's we have learned a lot about business mm -hmm. we have learned a lot about just how to manage a business how to run a business we do it out of our home so it's it changes your mindset of money the value of money mm -hmm. We, are, we have adopted a lot of new principles about how we spend our money, how we save. So it's, it's been a great, it's yes. been very nice. It teaches you mm -hmm. valuable lessons. Okay, yes. let's get back to this. We've got two more full bags to go through. Agnes and Dora, I'm not familiar with that brand. That's these Lula are, Rose. Oh, Lula that's brand. right. Yeah. So uh, I guess these are leggings. These are cute because yeah. someone like a sports team. Yes, like they this. look like a particular sport team's colors. Yeah. So that's nice. And they're light, they're light. Blue. Yes. You're going to have to tell me because you definitely outhauled me. So some of the stuff I'm taking out, I'm not familiar with. Nicole Miller, I know that's a very good So this brand. is Nicole Miller. 
Oh, this is the nice Cole dress. Miller collection. So that's the high end one. Okay. The Cole bind of Cole Miller is the low end. So this is silk. It's a beautiful, pretty. pretty silk, sheer, crinkle. Empire waist? Yeah, with a silk sash. It's very pretty. Very nice. That is beautiful. This is a pair of Dockers, um, I guess we'd call them uh, career pants. Like pleated, front, pleated, cuffed. cuffed. Mm -hmm. No tags. Dress mobile pant. So I'm sure they're like a comfort career pant. Yeah. 33 so they're new, tags. new tags. So on average, everything is a dollar. What about dollar fifty? Dollar roughly dollar yeah. eighty per item. So this is a very nice cardigan. Is it? It's a super long sweater cardigan. Oh, well, I nice? guess you don't normally pick that up. Well, I bought it because of the style. Yeah, it has long hair. hair. Yeah. So this is a butt front cardigan, longer style. Reminds me of. The 70s people used to wear these. This is very nice. This would be good for like a college girl. Yes. Very nice long knee length sweater cardigan with a belt. Canvas Super sweater. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is, uh, I grabbed this because I felt that the well, there's a felt collar and it's new with tags. I really don't know who this is. Loitz Snyder. Danny Max woman, but it was uh, mm -hmm. vintage, yeah. made in USA with tags. So it's a this is a classic tuxedo style coat jacket dress. Oh, okay. it's, it, I think it's called like a coat dress where it's got the double breasted buttons. This is very 90s. It's got the velvet collar. Um, but Hex department store went out of business in the 90s, yes, early 90s. That. So this is from Hex, so you know it's that old. Didn't you work at Hex at one point? Uh, yes, I did. And it was back then, so that was 30 years ago. It was on sale for $89.99. So that's a nice one. I love finding vintage stuff. Academy. So remember that brand where we sold that brand and it sold for a lot of money? That's adorable. Let me look that up. That is Catamini. So we just sold the slinky brand pants and something on Poshmark. The Nicole Miller. Girl size 12 dress. Fuchsia silk strapless band of Oh, it has a little label there. So I you know a lot of people like to. I have the label identified. That's adorable. So C A T A. No, C A T I. I think it's C A T I. Yeah, it's C A T I. Mint. Wow, Becky's looking that up. I found a vintage made in USA silk Land's End golf logo tie. Silk. And so, yes. So their dress, girls' dress, is still, I would say, anywhere from probably um, about $15 plus shipping. So that's good. Mm -hmm. Old Navy ballerina jeggings. Those are super popular. Those are girls. Yes. And they're pull-on, so we don't have a zipper and right. denim. Right. And so I got full those pockets. for um, my back like school. Like the back pockets. Okay. Oh, uh, we have a very large presence of military in this area, like the largest naval base in the world, yes. I believe. So a lot of times you'll find uh, military clothing with tags, without tags. And it's great. It sells like it that. sells so fast. But uh, it's hard to keep up um, because the uniforms are changing so rapidly that sometimes I don't know if it's still something that an active duty person is going to want or need as part of their uniform. Like the Navy had a white uniform that was called the uh, Cracker Jack that you'll actually see the sailor on the Cracker Jack boxes. They wore that and I think they might have done away with that. Mm -hmm. 
but these are either um, senior Navy enlisted pants or officer pants, and they're new with tags. Mm -hmm. So hopefully they're still wearing that one. And even the ones that aren't worn by the current military, people that aren't in the military that like camo, well, the, yes. they buy them too. The camo patterns. The camo yes. patterns, the vintage army green fatigue pants mm -hmm. that we sell. Any vintage military sells yes. good. Yes. So don't overlook your basic military clothing. Right. Just do your research, but don't don't pass it by. This is a Brooks Brothers 1818 Fitzgerald blazer. Well, I bought that because that it's nice. like new and it's made in Italy. It's, it's made is it by nice? Estrado by Trapaldo Togna 1840, made in Italy exclusively for Brooks Brothers. It's a 45 regular. Isn't that nice? It's like a dark charcoal gray, two button front blazer. It is very nice. Mm -hmm. Perfect condition. So, nice suit blazer. <clears throat> Pair of Nautica. These oh, are super vintage. Oh, See how baggy they are? Yes. They're like boys baggy pants. Yes, they almost look like school So pants. I think they're boys size 20. No, they're actually size 30. But it says 20 in parentheses. Yeah, okay. So I think they're I gotcha. boys. Yeah. But see how bad? They're super yes, baggy. My like goodness 90s baggy. Gracious. Yep. They're pleated baggy pants. So someone might want them <laughs> yes. or not want them. I don't know. Okay. Ambiance. I'm not familiar with that. Oh, Forever 21. Okay. It is a, looks like an open cardigan. Mm -hmm. Open front cardigan. What kind of lightweight one? Nice, um, heathered. Yeah, it's a basic. Long side slits, vents. It's a size medium. So I was thinking if I don't want it, if Scarlett doesn't, we have a daughter, so if she doesn't want it, then I'll look slit. Yes, yes. H oh, this is cute. This oh, is a girl. Is but look at the back of it. 12, 13 year old. It's a girl's um, shirt. Is that gingham? Mm hmm. Black and white gingham. <laughs> Okay, you got this. That's cute. That's cute. It's a print, not yeah. raised or anything. Yeah, that's adorable. That's nice. I don't know what the kids consider cool nowadays, so. Oh, speaking of vintage military, these are called the Seafarer. It actually has somebody's name written on it, but these are the dungarees that the Navy wears on when they're out to sea. Made by Seafarer. Those are nice. Those and they are nice. good, solid, almost These new. Are they new? Or are they well, they've got the ser a service member's name written on the tag, but so I doubt they were worn way. much. But this is the real deal what they wore on the um, yeah. ships. Sailor pants. Mm -hmm. Those are awesome. Yes. And a lot of uh, designers over the years have made these pants new again. Yes. Okay, this is a um, maternity tanky by, oh, what is this? Oh, Liz Lang. Oh, it's Liz Lang for Target. So that probably reduces the value. But it's a nice, um, I guess, splash, more floral pattern. Nice brass buckles. Excellent mm -hmm. condition. We do good with tankies, don't we? Mm -hmm. Another pair of Levi's, 550s, 34, 32. I guess they're all straight leg. Mm -hmm. It looks like they might have altered that. It's hard to tell. It might just be a weird fabric discovery. Five fifties are those straight leg? I have no idea. Okay. Maybe loose. I don't know. I don't. I can't keep up with them. <laughs> Neil five fifty or five hundred ones. That's about it for sure. Isabel maternity by Ingrid. Ingrid and Isabel. 
skinny pants. And it is new. Retails $30. I don't know where they sell these. Target? Okay. Nice pair of buttons. Yeah. Side panel, size four. So if eternity, the size is what your size is normally, right? You don't change it. Okay. New with tags. These are almost look vintage, but Coldwater Creek, I guess, is your basic chino. Yeah. Stretch. It has a name on the side. They usually have a name. This is the extra button. I'm uh, just kidding. Two way stretch twill, buy stretch twill pant. Retail $55. Boot cut. Size 18? Um, I thought that, yes, W18, women 18. Mm -hmm. Nice basic pants. These are Dockers, all day khaki. Uh, Big man, 44, waist, straight fit, with stretch, new with tags. Okay. That's silk and, spandex. Wow. French connection. That's very nice. Is that a cami? Mm-hmm. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a purple, purple wine or just purple? Yeah, like an eggplant. Eggplant. The lighting's horrible. Sorry about that. We struggle with lighting all the time. Last bag. Last bag. Don't be sad. So whoever watches the video, if anybody watches our videos, put in the comments how much you think we're going to make on all this stuff. Yeah. That'll be fun. We should do some sort of um, prize to... Uh, subscribers if they can guess like pick an item and guess what we sell it for and then we'll like, say you can have anything in the store one item pick it up to like a hundred dollars <laughs> nothing ridiculous okay you, you can spearhead that i'll get right on it well maybe if we get to 20 subscribers we'll have to do a um a little raffle or something yeah like. that would be great and then we'll just we're trying to grow our channel yeah so we have 14 subscribers we're excited and about every one of them yeah we, we actually got a nice comment on our last video yes so last bag this is um new with tag style and company this is a like a oatmeal tan cow neck sweater. These are just basics, but they're new with tags, so we buy them for a dollar something an item, and they're good sellers. It's got the fringe. This is size extra large. That's awesome. This is a vintage from Dallas, Texas. It's called Banjo. It's a sheer, like a dress blouse. I guess it's something you wear out, like a nighttime club square dancing so it's called it's vintage made by banjo dallas texas it is made in usa size extra large but it, it's a v-neck button front sheer blouse with gold shimmer all over it it's sheer semi sheer chiffon interesting that is interesting these are um vintage Corduroy Miss Me pants. So these are um, corduroy, like a cinched leg, low rise. Um, I don't even know what you would call them. They're just like a low rise, ruched leg pants. pants. They're brown corduroy, but they're heavily embroidered. Miss Me. Embroidered thigh, embroidered back of the leg, and then the ankle has um, capri, and then it's got this ruched tie. And I saw that it was Miss Me because of this, 
and I didn't know if that was fake. So um, I look, the tag looks like it's old, like an old Miss Me tag. But then I looked at the button for more branding and it says Miss Me in their cursive. So this is size um, small. Yeah, that that yeah I don't know. If, I don't know what that is. I didn't know if this was like, like a really fancy art to wear, but it's the brand is R Y U, and it's like a cocoon, a cocoon jacket. It's cap sleeves, ruffle front. The whole entire thing is ruched. Um, it's got like this knit band going through the waist, but it is um, pretty interesting. All this stuff will be on our good Scarlet eBay store, so you can actually see it on a mannequin and proper lighting. Let me see what it's made out of. It looks very interesting, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I don't think it has a, it's been cut out. Uh, I don't know, it might be anthropology or something. Maybe. This is a basic, this is Under Armour, long sleeve polo with the little embroidered arm and it's a size large. I just That's got it because, big. huh? It looks pretty big for a large. This might be re-donated because <clears throat> we didn't go back through our cart towards the end because it was like this high and when it gets that much, it's. It's too much. We just go whatever. Mm -hmm. We'll just buy everything. Redonate what we um, don't like once we get home. So this is a zero exposure. This is probably for our daughter. It's a little swim skirt. Something you'd wear over your swim brief. It doesn't have a liner. It's just a skirt. Isn't that cute? It's coral yes. and it's a size. Oh, it's girl size 16. So this would awesome. be good for her. This is Ralph Lauren. This is blue tag. Ralph Lauren, size 12. It's a corduroy cargo skirt with a belt. Do you think that was vintage? No. No? Okay. Um, this is Charter Club, new with tag, turtleneck sweater. Mm -hmm. Just a basic long sleeve turtleneck sweater, but it has the gold little buttons at the um, wrists. And it is a size small. You can wear that for the holidays. What? That? Yeah. And this is a Karen Scott. And remember, we get these things because they are new with tags, and they're just basics, things that people buy all the time every day so this is just a basic ivory career skirt it's got two box pleats in the front plain back size 16. so that's basically i would love to buy that and another karen scott karen scott i think this is sold at belk we have belk department stores around here so this is karen scott this is one of their House brands. It's a basic black turtleneck sweater with black and white stripes, and it is a size extra large, and that's new tag. And then we buy kids' clothes if they're new tags or if they're an awesome designer. But this is this is just basic stuff. And if I decide not to sell it, I can give it away to friend, people that we know with mm -hmm. babies. This is just a basic navy blue boys turtleneck from Oshkosh. And this is a 3T and it's new with tags. That is new. This is Ann Taylor Loft and it is a big cow neck, almost off the shoulder sweater dress. Long sleeves, it's got the fair aisle, kind of this popover fold over neckline, fair aisle at the hem. It is extra large and it has this attached to it. Where it says loft, but it's not the whole tag. So we will put new without tag because if, 
If we put new with tag and they got it, they couldn't give it as a gift yeah. because the tag's been destroyed and it looks kind of weird. So we just put new without tag. Tag tag has been ripped in half. So this is the size, what did I say, extra large? And it is cotton, viscose, nylon, and wool, and alpaca. And it is heavy. That's a nice sweater dress. Possibly this is probably for our daughter. It's just a little cream burnout little sweater. <laughs> um, size small. Is this for you? Oh, what size is it? Yeah. Oh, extra large. So I have found this is my third one finding this exact sweater at the bin over the past what two years. But it's a plum apartment nine. This is sold at Kohl's. It's a long tunic. It's a v-neck lightweight tunic, and I love it for leggings. This is an extra large, so I'm going to sell it. This is a vintage skirt. Made in USA, Jacques. Jacques. Jacques, so the S is silent. Rayon. Um, I don't know how that'll do. It's really nice pattern, though. So it's made in USA. It's just a little, like a... Little sheer, Summer. kind of semi sheer, little A line skirt. Actually, I think that'll do well. We got it because it was vintage. Oh, I forgot to go back to this. Oh. All right, this is a Gap vintage black leather midi skirt. This is probably from the 90s, based on the tag. It's black leather. There's the old fashioned gap tag from a long time ago. It is size good. 14. No? Mm -hmm. it it's got that on it. Oh. So we, we've sold a lot of gap vintage leather skirts. It's a black maxi skirt with front slits. It's a black, like a crinkle texture rayon. It's a long skirt and it's got these two high front slits. So it's cute for a teenager. And it's lined up to the thigh. So that is size medium. Did you want to do the rest? No, go ahead. I was just looking at Rue 21. This is new with tag. It's a maxi dress. It's like a multi-color print maxi dress with the crochet halter. Long length. It's got large, big high slits on each side. That's pretty. New with tag, size small. I can't wait to look these up. These are called standard and standards and practices. S and P yeah. denim jeans. Look at that. And look, <laughs> they are super wide leg. What the heck? They are super flares. Uh oh, battery's low. Hurry, just hit. So super flare leg. These are size. Uh, um. It says waist 11, length 35. So maybe it's 11 across. Mm, I don't know. Maybe. Interesting. Okay. Talbot's The Daily Ankle. This is army green chino pants. These are just your basic chinos, size 2. And they're new without tags. This is Laura Scott. I think this is sold at, Chase, at Sears. This is cute. I just got it because it's, you know, it's floral and pretty. Someone will like it. Laura Scott, size medium, button front cardigan sweater, new with tag. Max Studio. Max <clears throat> Studio, new with tag. This is a, like a sweater midi maxi dress, turtleneck short sleeves. And it is a size large, acrylic cotton. It's new with tags. This is from... I don't know whose tag that is. 
but it was regularly um, $39.97. Long sweater dress. This is Ann Taylor Loft. It's a career, yeah, tunic blouse. It's um, like a blue and rust and white floral. And that is a size extra small. That's that. Leone, it's like a, like a blush, pink velvet twist front, um, stretchy knit top. And Pleone, size large, it's pretty. It's got like a crushed velvet. Mm, too bad you didn't get the And then I found this and I saw the pants at another bin and I meant to go back and get it, but it was a set. It's a dark blue velvet set. Set. It's um, it's size 20 women's, so it's dark blue, velvet, like a tunic, and then it came with the loungy type oh, pants, yeah. but I didn't go back. But still, this is new with tags, and maybe someone will just want the top. It is a nice top. It's got like a metallic print on the top of it. And that is it. Yes. So um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to tilt the camera and show you our big pile of stuff. If I can get the camera down there. Can you see it? There's our big pile of stuff. Anyway, um, that's it. We spent $84 and we'll try to get that listed quickly so it can be purchased. That was a nice haul. That, when you consider that we only spent maybe an hour and a half, if that, to find that many items and so many of them were new, we were happy. We were having a good time. And we got ourselves some stuff, and that's always a bonus. Mm -hmm. So. So at least we're going to 10 times our money. Yes. At the least. We should. At the least. Mm -hmm. So um, thank you for watching and we'll try to do more frequent videos with more um, in-depth content. Yes. More how to's explanation, dig a little deeper. Lessons so, learned. Yeah. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Bye. Bye.